Islamic psychology comes in. It brings the nafs and the ruh, right, the, the self and the soul back into the study of psychology. Also explain why a person may be depressed or may sometimes not be doing so well in life. And you have to take them together, all together. And this is the Islamic tradition. They brought all of the aspects together. Imam Ghazali had a wonderful model where he explained the human psyche as the qalb, metaphysical heart, being at the center. Connected to it would be your emotions, your ihsas, your aql, or cognition, your ruh, the soul, the nafs, the self. All of these things together are interconnected. If you don't treat all of them together, you're only treating one side, so it's lopsided or skewed. This is, to me, Western psychology, where Islamic psychology brings all of it together. This is what we're calling the revival movement of Islamic psychology. It's not new. It's actually something we're reviving, and we're wanting to bridge modern clinical understanding from today, scientific understanding of today. What elements should we use? 